On your side is Learn VDOT contractor TME has responded to a report highly critical of its work. And in that report, VDOT says TME failed to maintain a safe driving surface on I-264. Now, sources tell us that TME plans to aggressively dispute those claims. Then on your side is Lauren Compton has more on a story you will see only on 10. Lauren? Tom, we've learned TME plans to use their own contract and that internal VDOT report against them. And they also believe that they did nothing wrong and were only abiding by the terms of this agreement. In this eight-page report, VDOT's chief engineer lays out several failures by TME that led to I-264's pothole problems. Ten on your side has learned TME will argue that before this internal report came out, VDOT told them and us that TME was meeting performance objectives when it came to potholes. TME will also argue that Section 4 of their contract says they were responsible for minor repairs on a road that is structurally sound. TME will use VDOT's own preliminary report to prove that I-264 is in really bad shape. In the report, VDOT's chief engineer wrote, Section of I-264 and I-64 have reached the point where some portions of the concrete have lost their structural integrity. The sections of I-264 and I-64 are in poor to very poor condition. But Commonwealth Transportation Board member Aubrey Lane says I-264 got that way because TME failed to do repairs. Over the last five years, it was the contractor's responsibility to maintain the road. And if you look at the report, many of the things that happened were over the last five years under their watch. TME will also argue the concrete does not meet current thickness standards of 13 inches. Portions of 264 are only 9 inches, as noted in the report. The bottom line is Lane has lost faith in renewing the TME contract. It's just unacceptable, and, and I will not be in favor of moving forward with any contractor who is not in good standing uh, with the state of Virginia. We are still waiting to ask VDOT Commissioner Greg Worley about that internal report, which was released last week. Last week, VDOT said we would get to ask those questions this week. It's now Thursday evening, and so far we have not heard about any plans from VDOT about a press conference. If that happens tomorrow, you can count on 10 to be on your side to ask the tough questions. Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.